Hey, welcome to match number three. This hand needs a few lands, but uh, fortunately I'm on the draw with the Temple of Enlightenment, so that that always helps when you have a scry land digging yourself towards just lands. Oh, this deck. Well, I'm gonna hope to need to hope to dodge in souls and. Uh, That's good. And souls and all that glitter is not good for me. Let's cast the Fae of Wishes. Ooh, 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 he does not have colored mana right now. I think Time Raveler looks pretty good here. Verdict. Get another verdict. All right. Step one achieved. All right. So expensive stuff, not super needed. I think a couple of thirty of the consoles. Aquarians, pithy needles, sorcerer's spyglass. One higher to Kirin. Well, maybe keep it. And that, that. Maybe just a pithing needle. Nah, he's got to have smugglers, copters, and stuff. Um, maybe just just one authority of the consoles. I don't want to cut all of my top end planeswalkers because then I'm only winning by wishing for uh, dragon gods or something. But this should be sufficient. Huh. Oko is a big game here. Turning his guys into a random 3 3s. I suppose that's not always necessarily great, but uh, like turning off a couple of copters or something like that is kind of nice. Yeah, I can also take an insold artifact, Darksteel Citadel, and then turn it into an elk, and then it's no longer indestructible, and then I can wrath it. Which is pretty good. That's a hand. I feel like I have Scrylands and a Deafening Clarion, so I'm going to keep this, because... The ability to cast a turn 3 Deafening Clarion is probably the most important thing I can do, but um, definitely on the greedy side to keep this. I'm just afraid of mulliganing into some unkeepable garbage hand. I guess the downside is I've sighted out all my expensive cards, so this many lands is actually probably not going to be very, very useful. But if I just draw a couple spells, my temples scry well then I'll be fine. Alright, well, I do have my top, den top end set up. Basically bottom any land and keep any spell. Yeah, keep fires.
I really want a three mounted fairy. Because I am a little bit worried that he's going to just grow this Bowmat Courier past um, Deafening Clarion range. Or in Soul of Darksteel Citadel. Both of which would be very bad for me. Okay. Oh my god, that's a million Ghost Fire Blades. Um. Well, that is a gigantic Bomac Courier. I'm going to need Verdict, like, right now. That's not Verdict. I am dead. It's always awkward when you're on the draw and your opponent just grows your grows their guys past Deafening Clarion. And then you just don't have a Verdict in hand. You're just like, oh, well. Those are too big, and Wrath isn't... I don't have actual Wrath, so... Let's play first... I'm not going to mulligan that hand. It's actually a hard choice whether or not I'm playing the Fae of Wishes on two. Probably will if he plays... Um... Actually, I probably won't. I probably won't. Especially not when I draw the steam vents. Oh, smuggler's copter, how I hate thee. Is it Narset here? Or is it Deafening Clarion? I think it's Narset. I was really hoping for a um, Pithing Needle, but oh well. Time Raveler is fine. So you can easily kill the Narset. Question, what, is, what does he do after killing the Narset? Ginger Brute. Oh yeah, this is good for me. Oh, I'm going to have so much stuff to clear in a way. So I'll take two, Narset will die, and then he's going to be left with not very much stuff in his hand after I go Fire's Clarion. And he didn't even get to loot? Oh, yes. Now if I draw a land, I can play these three cards. That seems pretty awesome. Stone Coil Serpent. That's not great for me, but... Certainly survivable. Alright, so let's play... Jace, Oath...
Teferi bounce plus plus plus. Suppose I cost myself one life by not playing the interplanar beacon. Mm, oh well. So he can kill Teferi, he can't kill Jace. Next turn, I think I just wish for deploy. I guess... I don't actually have a lot of great ways to deal with the Stone Coil Serpent. So that's a little awkward. Skilled Animator. Oh no, that's, that's wrong. I'm just gonna... Just gonna Gideon's intervention it. So that probably kills Jace. I could still be in trouble if he has another in soul artifact or skilled animator. Certainly I don't want to bounce his animator. That's that's not a thing that I want to do. Also, we actually found a situation where Vi Wild Slash is significantly better than Shock. <laughs> There's so many people that's been playing Wild Slash all over, um, all over this format, and just most of the time it's not even remotely. Eh, I mean, it's it's just a shock. But here it actually matters that it's you know kind of better. I didn't want to verdict away just a skilled animator because it, it's a one three and whatever. Um, the stone coil serpent is not a relevant card anymore, um, so I'm just gonna play the Fey of Wishes. See what happens next turn. It is such a big deal that Fey of Wishes is a 1-4 instead of a 1-3. It would be nowhere nowhere close to as good if it was a 1-3. Like, not blocking Smuggler's Copters, not blocking Elks, that kind of thing. Just such an enormous difference. So if I draw another Fey of Wishes, I win. Do I win anyways? I guess it depends on what he plays. Certainly not. Certainly not winning with a dead uh, Time Raveler. I think I do actually just do, do. Yes, I would like to use Granted's ability. What do I want to do? Um I think Hero of Dominaria actually is probably just better than going for um the other thing. Uh, 
uh, deploy the gate watch because I've sighted out all my expensive planeswalkers. Oh. Well, that's kind of perfect. All right, so let's play Temple of Epiphany. Go ahead and keep that on top. Cast Elspeth. Cast Fey of Wishes. Plus. Plus. And that should be sufficient. All right. I think we got there. I have a hard time seeing him doing something that can come back from this. And same for him. Alright. 